What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute full body strong workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here today for this 40 minute workout. Like I said, it's full body strong. So we're gonna be working on weighted movements for the whole body, compound moves, moves for your abs, upper body, lower body. Nothing too, too heavy because I know we went heavy yesterday on our legs. So we'll be doing compound moves and I will be using light to medium dumbbells. So I'm gonna be sticking between eight and probably 20, 25 pound dumbbells. The heaviest thing that we'll do is kind of like a Turkish get up with a glute bridge. The lightest thing that we'll do is probably a plank row. So I'll stay somewhere between eight to 20. Grab your weights that work for you, just a couple options, all right? We'll be working for two minute segments today. So one time through each exercise in that two minute block, and then we're moving on and we're done with it, okay? So endurance, as the whole week has gone on, you've noticed I've made you work for a little bit longer. Today's no exemption, we're gonna go two minutes, resting for 30 seconds, just one time per exercise, okay? Make sure also you've got some water and your sweat towel around you, and also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right below the video here, there's a red button. When you click subscribe, it'll turn gray, and that just helps us grow this family bigger and stronger together, okay? So, if you're ready to get started, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna get a quick warm up in and then rock right into it, okay? Wide stance, hands on your hips. We're gonna start shifting the hips over, reaching that arm over top. In three, two, one, exhale. Come up and shift. Good. We're gonna feel this in your glutes and your hips. There you go, keep everything facing forward. One more. And good, hands back on your hips. Let's shoot your hips backwards and come back up straight. Stretch those hamstrings. I know if you're like me, your legs are a little bit sore from yesterday. We'll probably feel that a little bit more tomorrow, but the good news is tomorrow is an upper body day. So I've got you there. Good, last one, shift it back and come back in the middle. Let's start just slow, wide single leg butt kicks, keeping your hips forward. Great job. Start your breathing here now. We're gonna be working in longer work periods today. So the point is muscle endurance and cardio endurance. Cardio not meaning we're gonna be doing cardio exercises, but your cardiorespiratory system. So making you breathe and stay breathing heavy for longer. Come on back. High kicks with your hamstrings. Okay, you don't have to be doing high knees to be working your respiratory system, right? So we'll practice working for longer today and breathing through that. Good job. Come back into the middle. Let's go arms crossed right over your chest. Good. And our first move, I'm gonna go back and grab my eight pound dumbbells. We've got inchworm plank rows. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the back here. Inchworm it out to my dumbbells, row left, row right, and then walk it back in. Okay, so we'll start in 15 seconds. I want you to grab those dumbbells. Modification, if you are not able to do the inchworm, you can always start on your knees. Okay, walk it out, then plank. Okay, or you can stay here. Okay, row, row, and then stand. All right. Let's go together. We'll start at 37.30. We're looking for 35, or 30, yeah, 35.30 on the clock, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Two minutes of work. Walk back away and walk right back out. Another modification would be to just keep your hands off to the side, not put them on the dumbbells, and then row. Okay, so if you're working on some wrist sensitivity, that might be the case. Great work, get out there, flex your abs, flex your legs. Squeeze your shoulder blades on that row. Good work, guys. So two minutes is gonna go probably quickly in the beginning and then a little slower in the end. But 
We've got just about one minute left. Okay, so if you want to go up and wait, minute number two starts in five seconds. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. Beautiful. This is a good warm-up exercise, too, to make sure we get everything engaged. Breathe. Good. Good, almost there. Give me about 32 more seconds. And then we've got to rest, and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so here we go. Big pull. Perfect, stay focused for 15 more seconds. Breathe, tight body, strong back. Good, seven, six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, two minute work period. So that's what you'll be expecting for the day today, okay? All right, second move, we'll go in 20 seconds. So breathe, lateral lunge, front raise. I'm lunging to the right first. I'm gonna start in the middle, go to the right, lift with my left. Come up in the middle and I switch that, okay? Modification, just do the lunge, come up and lift, okay? All right, let's go in two, one, here we go. So your opposite hand lifts as you sit back and down. And then push that hip back up top. Okay, switch arms at the top. Keep your shoulders and your hips level. And we're looking for 33 on the clock. What helps me keep my body straight is keeping my arm out here. Okay. If that helps you, you can go out there as well. Here we go. Stay focused here. Great job. Five seconds and the first minute is over. All right. Good. Minute number two. I'm going to pop up to my 10. Keep going. We're going to look for 33 on the clock. Keep your chest straight. Make sure you're not going here, okay? Sit, lift, lower, big push. Good form is everything, especially in a long work period. Good work, come on. 25 seconds. That's it. 15. That's it, seven seconds and we move down to the floor for some core. Four, three, finish right here. Two, one, great job. Okay, two toe touches, two sit-ups. Okay, I'm going to grab my 20 pound dumbbell. No, I'm gonna grab my 15. We're working for a while, so I wanna make sure I can handle it in my upper body, okay? Two toe touches, two sit-ups. So you go one and two. Put your feet down, dumbbell in your chest, up for two, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale. Great job. You're looking for 30, 30 on the clock. 30 minutes and 30 seconds left. On the sit-ups, if you feel that you can't add the dumbbell to your chest, just do body weight or even reach and use your dumbbell to help you and then roll down slowly. Good job. 
Come on, breathe. Each rep needs to be a good squeeze. That's it, guys. Over one minute down. One minute and 10 seconds done. Last 50 right here. There we go. Breathe. Even exaggerate the breath. Good, less than 30. You got about 25 seconds. Good work, come on. 13, 12. Four, three, two, one, and rest. 30 seconds rest. I'm going to use, next move we have is a Superman with a row, okay? Staying on your stomach. I'll show you, I'm gonna use my eight pound dumbbell. All right, so staying on our belly. Options here. We're gonna go up, pull back, and go back down, okay? If you wanna add a dumbbell to that, add it here, pull in, push out, lower. Ready? Let's go. Lift it up. And when you pull back, I want you squeezing your shoulder blades back, squeezing your lats. There we go, you're doing great. If you're not using a dumbbell, you're here. Lift everything, pull like you're grabbing onto a rope and pulling it to your chest. Reach back out, then go down. There we go. You're doing great. We're looking for 28 on the clock, meaning we're almost done with our first minute. Come on, this is all about strength. The strength we build today helps us move forward stronger tomorrow. Come on. If this is tough, there's a reason you're doing it. It's because you need to get stronger in it. And this is one of those exercises where I know we all need to get stronger. 40 seconds left. This is gonna help your squats, your deadlifts, your glute bridges. Good job. There you go, come on, keep moving for 18 seconds. There you go, breathe, breathe, nine. Eight. One more, come on. Three, two, and rest. Good work. 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna go kneeling, row, and kick back. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 20 pound dumbbell for this one. You've got a single arm row, and the opposite arm, or the opposite leg, is gonna do a kick back, okay? One minute here. Okay, if you need to modify that, row, put it down, lift, put it down. So let's go right arm, left leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Big row, and lift. And something that helps me is to put my other hand on a dumbbell so it's a little bit elevated, okay? Core tight. One minute on this side, one minute on the other side. Belly button stays right in between your front leg, or I'm sorry, your front hand and back leg. Obviously that's front and back. I think you understand that. Good, squeeze those glutes. You're doing great. One minute in, we'll switch sides. Squeeze. You're moving that shoulder blade back to the middle of your back.
Seven seconds, one more on this side and we switch. Four, three, two, good, switch it over, keep going. Make sure you're not just rowing up to your armpit, but you're pulling back towards your rib cage and your hips. That shoulder blade is moving in towards the middle of your spine. There you go. Beautiful. Come on, strong, strong, strong. This is it. 30 seconds left. That's it, come on. 15 seconds. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Four, three, two, one, rest. 30 seconds rest. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 10 and a 15 here. This is kind of gonna get, this is going to be a ladder style. I'm gonna start with my heavier dumbbell. I've got sit up and shoulder press, okay? So, I'm gonna go first minute, just my left arm. Sit up, one press. Sit up, two presses, okay? I keep climbing for that one minute. Okay, so give me a dumbbell in your left arm. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Sit up, one, down and up and two, and you keep climbing, three, and then four, as high as you can get until you see 24 minutes flat on the clock, then we switch over to the other arm. Wanna make this tougher when you sit up, lift your feet, go here. Twenty seconds left. Thirteen, twelve, come on. Three, two, one, switch hands, go to the other arm. Let's go, start with one. We're starting all over with that other side. Good, see if you can match that number that you hit on the other side. Good, come on. 30 seconds left, where you at? Keep climbing, let's get two or three more at least. Two or three more rounds. Come on. 10, nine. Come on, last one. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, that one went fast, huh? Whew. All right, that means six exercises down. I'm gonna give you a one minute rest here. Feel free to, in the last 30 seconds, just jog if you don't need that whole minute. Okay, I'm gonna use my 10 for this. If you've done a Turkish get up before, for the next three circuits, we're just gonna break that down. We're gonna break it apart, okay? So I'd love for you to watch me closely so we can make sure we do it right together, okay? I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna start with my 15, okay? So I'm gonna do, left arm has the dumbbell. I'm gonna start completely flat. I'm gonna press up, take my left leg here, Sit up, come right here. Okay, this is it. And that previous round was kind of like our primer. Okay, so let's go left leg up, left arm has the dumbbell. Two, one, here we go. We sit up, put it back. Okay, watch the dumbbell the whole time. Sit up, see how I'm a little bit rotated here? Okay. Good, you're kind of getting yourself primed to go into the get up. 
Good, come down before you sit up. Arm is straight, exhale, push it up, push it up, push it up. Brace yourself, okay? Great job. There we go, almost there. 30 more seconds. There we go. 12, 11. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I want you to come here. Stay up top here, okay? We're gonna go from here to a bridge and tuck, okay? And then we undo it. We take that leg back out, sit, okay? And then we roll right back down. So we're adding on the sit up. Go here, here, boom, bridge, tuck. You're gonna get this knee right under your hip. So if you wanna go down to a, a lower weight, I'm gonna do the same thing, same arm, okay? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, piece it together. Sit up, straight arm, brace it. Dig this heel down, bridge. Put the leg under, open. Back down and just undo it. Bridge, tuck the knee, take your time, and then extend up, okay? Take it back down, take it back out, sit, and lower. There you go, I'm trying to take it slow, which is sometimes harder, <laughs> to make sure you see it, full range of motion. Push up, brace. Dig the foot down, bridge. Knee comes under the hip, push it up. And notice I'm keeping an eye on the dumbbell the whole time, right? One more minute here. Great job. Good, full body strong, right? Whew. There we go. 30 more seconds. Stay focused, eye on the dumbbell. Good, 20. Good work, 10, nine, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? Whew. So you can feel free to start with your 15. We're just gonna go through those two, all right? First we start with the sit up and brace. Okay, so my right hand, right leg is up. Start down, I press, sit up, brace, okay? Let's go together in five, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Everything in your body feels this. Okay, we're waiting on the legs. Take it down, up, straight arm, exhale, brace. Good. There you go, keep an eye on the dumbbell. That's it. Whew. I know your shoulders are burning. <laughs> me too, trust me. Whew. We've got just over a minute left.
Good work. Whew. Come on. Just the heavy one here. And then we'll take it down minute two, lower weight, and we'll add that glute bridge and knee under the hip. Good job. Perfect. Shoulder stabilization is really working here, right? You feel it? Last 30 seconds right here. Let's go. Good, if you feel your shoulder getting wobbly, that's okay, that means we're working on shoulder stabilization and it's working on it, okay? It's also just tired, right? Five, four, three, two. All right, I'm going down to my 10 and we're gonna add that glute bridge and replace the knee under the hip. So, just to review, take it here, here. We set up, we brace, Okay, this leg, same side, is bent. You dig the heel down, lift up, so that you can bring your leg under, and then push. From here to here, it's all just about core. Okay, obliques, pushing that dumbbell up. And then you just take it right back down. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna use my 10 in three, two, one, full cycle, let's go. Bridge, take the knee right under the hip and straighten it up. Good job. We're looking for 13 on the clock. Bridge, knee under. There you go. And you're doing pretty much three-fourths of the Turkish get up here. Okay? Whew. And by the way, when you bring your leg under here, you can use your toe to kind of help you balance as you push up to this position, okay? Great work. Whew. One minute left. There you go. I'm gonna try and flow with it here. Okay, so you can see full speed. You can go full speed. Just get control of your shoulder. Get control of your whole body, really. Don't skip steps. Don't try to rush it. The whole point is to not rush it. We get stronger in every part of this move. Good work. 30 seconds. Whoops. Good job. Ha! I know, shoulders are burning. 15 seconds. Good, eight, seven. Three, two, one, and rest. And then the last part of the Turkish get up is just the stand, okay? But, great work. Grab some water. Whoa, that was a lot. Ouch. Okay, your next move we've got Russian twist. Okay, I'm gonna incorporate some tricep here as well. So, we're gonna do four twists, okay, and then a tricep overhead extension. I'll go forward with you, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Take it up, four, three, two, one, okay? So if you wanna grab, I'm gonna use my 15 on this, okay? All right, here we go. And let's go in two, one, let's go four and four. Good, four and four. So we're twisting, twisting. Keep it all tight, elbows right over your shoulders, so don't let it get out here. Keep it here, straighten the arms, okay? We're looking for 10, 10 on the clock. That's 
That's it. Come on. Breathe as you work. There you go. Focus on that twist. All right. One minute left. Now we're going to double the Russian twist. So now we do eight for each side, okay? One, two, three, four. Keep going to eight. There you go. Then four up top again. Adding in some more rotational core. Good. Last 30 seconds. There we go. Come on, come on. 15 seconds. Finish it out right here. 13, 12. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Whew. All right. Three more exercises, okay? We're that close. Three more exercises. You've got two lateral lunges, two high rows, okay? I'm gonna grab my 20 for this one. Okay, we'll start at 9.30 on the clock. I'm gonna grab a 20. So we lunge left, lunge right, row left, row right. So we separate the two, okay? Go lunge, switch, lunge, stay here. Row, switch, row, okay? And then right back into the lunge, all right? Let's go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Modification would just be to do a body weight. Lunge, lunge, and then pick it up. Row, row, okay? All right, here we go. Good job. Sit and stand. Sit, stand right into it. And make sure you're stepping out wide enough that I can sit down here just like I would in a squat. If I'm over here, I have no room to sit, right? If I'm here, I can sit down. Good job, come on. You're looking for 7.30 on the clock, which means we have one minute left. There you go. I know this is a little bit of a different style. That's what we're here for this month though. Different, challenge. We don't get better the other way. Doing the same thing, doing the things we love, we don't get better that way. We get better pushing into this, oh my gosh, this is harder. Oh my gosh, I really have to focus more. Mentally, maybe it's a little bit tougher to sit in two minutes of work instead of stop, go, stop, go. I get it but you're also doing great things for your body in this two minutes of work. Hear my uh, breathing right now? I told you cardiorespiratory endurance is going to improve. We've got 15 seconds. Come on. Can we get one more round in? Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, we breathe. We're moving into two bicep curls and two kneeling lunge to step ups. Think about your bicep curl weight. That's gonna be the determining factor here. Okay, looks like this. We go two, one and two. Then you sit down, one and two. Step up and switch. Curl two, lunge two. Okay, ready? Let's go together. Opposite foot is out front. We curl one, two, sit down. Come up and switch. Curl, curl, sit it down. Good job. Good. 
Good job. Curl twice, then stabilize, sit twice. Beautiful. Almost done with that first minute, and I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit on you. Two, one, now we up everything to three. Okay, three curls, three lunges. Good work, let's go, 45 seconds. That's it. I know you're working hard. Stay here for 30 more seconds. Good. 20 seconds. Come on. Breathe. Thirteen, twelve. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> 30 seconds rest. And you've got two tucks, five inner thigh lifts. We're gonna be on the floor, okay? It's your option if you wanna use a dumbbell on the ab tuck. I'll show you what this looks like, okay? Lay it down, one and two. Place your hands down. We go five here, inner thigh lift. Or you can sit, inner thigh lift. Five here, then we go back to our two tucks. Next time you come up, you go to the other side. Five, okay? Let's go together. We'll start it off in four, three. Start with your two tucks. One, and let's go. One, two, <laughs> good, put it down. Lift for five, four. Back down. Other side. So that bottom leg, you're thinking about putting a bowl of soup on your arch, arch of your foot. Good work, and when you go over from the tuck to the inner thigh lift, make sure you bridge with that back leg and turn your hips all the way over. Great work. Perfect. Awesome. All right, last minute we've got four tucks, five inner thigh lifts. Let's go. Good, keep it up, four and five. That's it, go, 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 we've got 20 seconds left. Good job, 10, nine. Finish this round that you're on right here. Three, two, one, and finish the one that you're on and rest. Okay, you have made it to your cool down. That was your workout. Okay, grab some water, get a big deep breath in your lungs, fill your lungs up, let it out. One more time. <sighs> Amazing job today. Whew. All right, let's move it down into the cool down. Start with your legs straight out. Move this guy out of the way. Just going straight out front. And I want you to relax your head. 
Relax your neck. Good, let's open up. Legs out to the side. Take yourself out to your right leg. Okay. Good stretch here. I want you to keep foam rolling, keep stretching, keep moving, walking, anything you can do to stay active, okay? It doesn't have to be another workout, okay? If you go hard here, you wanna add on a little bit of cardio or some abs or something, I totally get it, but don't do another full workout, okay? Work really, really hard in your one workout, work really, really hard in your nutrition, stay active, you're gonna be great, okay? Roll forward. Big deep breath in and out. Good job. Come back in, crisscross applesauce with your feet. I want you to put your hands down on the ground. Tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. And just try and drop your shoulders and relax. Release some tension you might have been holding up in your shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest and roll it over to the other side. Keep your hands on the floor. Relax your shoulders. Big deep breath in. And out. Good, hands on your knees. Just drop your chin to your chest and lean back, stretching out your shoulder blades and your traps. Amazing job. Guys, I'm so proud of you today. Woo. Way to work with me on a new style. I'm so very pumped that you embrace that with me. Two minutes of work is not easy, but we did it. We did it uh, 14 times, so that's pretty impressive. I think 14, yeah, I think we did 14 or 15 times of two minutes of work straight. So that's not something we normally do. That may have been something that maybe you learned that you paced yourself a little bit too much. You didn't go as hard as you thought you would because of the two minute work or you went really hard in the beginning and a minute in you burnt out. So it's, it's different. Don't give yourself a hard time. We had to pace it out. We had to find our groove with new moves every single time. So that's great. I wanted to challenge you in a new way today. I wanted you to step up to the plate and say, oh my gosh, I did this. This wasn't easy. And I always know I can challenge myself in whatever Sydney throws at me. So I'm proud of you today for coming here, for doing that. Even if you had to modify 85% of the moves, you came here today and you did it and you did your very best. It doesn't have to be perfect to be your best effort, okay? That's something we can remember all the time. You give your best effort consistently and you don't give up, things will change, okay? Either you'll learn, you'll learn how to do better, you'll learn how to be more consistent in that consistency by just trying and figuring out systems and patterns and habits to adopt, okay? I promise it sounds like, yeah, a simple answer, Sydney, just keep working hard, but you learn in the process. You learn in the work, okay? You don't learn by saying, I'm gonna plan everything out perfectly, and then I'm gonna move forward, and I'm only gonna move forward when I have it all figured out. I promise, I know there are people out there like that, and I know that that idea of having it all ready to go is amazing, and it's your best effort at making sure you do the best. So do that, but also don't wait to start if you're waiting on perfect timing, okay? Set it up, do the best that you can, learn as you go, okay? Don't just think this is too hard, I'm gonna give up. Uh, this is too much for me, I don't like this, uh, this style of eating, I'm gonna give up. You gotta find what works for you and you've gotta just go at it and you've gotta keep going, okay? I do all of our nutrition coaching in the Sydney Squad and I can tell you, everyone in there has figured out how to make it work for them. The nutrition is the science behind nutrition. I'm not pulling something out of a fad diet or a quick tip quick change, rapid fat loss, rapid weight gain book. It's the science. What does your body do when you give it this? And in that, you can adopt, okay, if I give it this and I like these foods, I can reach my goals, okay? So we've all had to figure out how to make it work, how to learn from ourselves, learn from each other in that community with constantly, constantly, constantly answering questions, posting recipes, posting tips and tricks, and we rise together, okay? That's my mission here on the YouTube stage, in the Sydney Squad and in life, we all have room to rise together, okay? So lift someone up today, encourage someone, be the one that does the encouraging, and I promise you'll get that encouragement back. And if you need help, let me help you there in the Sydney Squad, okay? If you're in the Sydney Squad, comment below what your favorite part is, and maybe someone will see that and say, aha, this is what I need. I love you guys with my whole heart and I'll be back here tomorrow. Make sure before you head out today you like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you back here tomorrow.
Bye.